The big story at five, tears and sadness as a family and neighborhood prepare to say goodbye to a 10-year-old girl who died after being caught in a crossfire. Sierra Guyton died yesterday. She was shot in the head on a playground two months ago, caught in the crossfire between two men. Her family is preparing a vigil at the playground where she was shot. Todd Hicks is live at 28th and Clark. Todd. Well, Mike and Carol, the family tells me they are bracing themselves for a very large turnout for tonight's vigil. You can see just some of the pictures, balloons, and flowers here right now. Now, earlier today, they described the whirlwind of emotions after learning their little girl had died. Days and nights filled with heartache is how the father of Sierra Guyton describes the last two days. It was hard. It was very hectic. On one, Guyton tells me his 10-year-old daughter died early Sunday morning. She was wounded while playing at this playground across the street from her house. The third grader caught in the crossfire of a shootout between two men. Sylvester Lewis and Jamie Jackson have been charged in the shooting. I really got to, you know, tuck in my emotions to, you know, make sure they they okay. Anwan says right now he's trying to be strong for his family who will attend a vigil at the playground tonight. What message do you want to get across tonight? The message I want to get across is that at a park like this, the children need to enjoy themselves. And we want to give this back to the children. Because as you can see now, it's the middle of the summer and this park is empty. Guyton tells me that will change at least for a few hours tonight as people come here to say goodbye. Will this help you move forward after Sierra's death? Maybe. I'm, I'm not. I, I've been with her 10 years. You can't just let that go. And that vigil will begin at 745 tonight. Now, Sierra's father tells me he's had to keep it together for the sake of his families, but others cannot continue holding back their tears. I'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6. We're live at 28th and Clark. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. So senseless. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Todd. Well, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett today talked about Sierra, saying his thoughts are with the family. He called for stronger laws and a change of thinking. It underscores a need right here in this community for a lot of people to do some soul searching because we have far too many people in this community who use violence as a way to solve their problems. Sierra Guyton's passing is also hard for Ariana Bivens Kelly. Someone shot the 11 year old in the face a few weeks before the playground shooting. Ariana and Sierra were acquaintances. Ariana spent weeks in the hospital and is slowly recovering. Police have still not caught the gunman who shot her and a family friend near 25th and Capitol.